Welcome to video number 11, the X and Y motors. Uh, now this is going to be a really straightforward process. We're just going to go ahead and assemble the X and the Y motor both in this one video. Uh, after we get this done, there will only be one motor remaining and that is for the extruder later on. It is also up to you whether or not you want to put the pulley onto the motor shaft before or after you mount the motor. Uh, either way, it doesn't really matter. But what you're going to see me doing the video here is I'm just real simply going to hold the motor up to the back end of the X motor mount and I'm going to insert my three screws and I'm going to tighten it into place. A couple of quick notes. Uh, instead of having couplings on these motors, we're going to have two of our G2 pulleys. And this is going to be what the belt wraps around later on in the later tutorial. Uh, now each pulley should have its own grub screw or set screw. And when you go to tighten it onto the shaft of the motor, you're going to want to tighten it down to the flat side of the shaft so that it will be held in place a lot sturdier. Uh, also, let me go and say that you can go in and add the mechanical end stop to the Y motor mount if you want to. In the video, I haven't done it yet. In fact, I'll wait till pretty good ways down the road before I actually do it. But whether you put it on there now or later doesn't really matter. So that is up to you. Now we're going to do the same thing with the Y motor mount in the Y motor. I'm going to go ahead and mount the motor first, put in my three screws, get them nice and tight, and then I add the G2 pulley afterwards. And don't forget to, to put the grub screw or the set screw from the G2 pulley onto the flat side of the motor shaft. Now depending on how your G2 pulley is designed, uh, you may have <clears throat> one side might have a fatter end than the other, a smooth side, and or it may be equal on both sides. But the actual teeth that hold the belt, I have that closer to the motor than to the outside. So the teeth that actually hold the belt are going to go as close to the motor as you can. 